Doesn't need to play five less. Just play three of them well. Play, playing three of them well is just fine. So, odds are good, buddy. I'll go odds. Hello, hello, and welcome to Comic Crazy and Paisley. It's a slightly different Swiss tournament and a slightly... Oh, uh, not Swiss tournament, it's not Swiss at all. It's Round Robin, Robin. again. It's on a, on, it's a on account of tricky numbers at the moment. Uh, no. No. Also very much no. I took the mulligan. Was, and uh, what's the call? Uh, even saw the first. <laughs> sure. Go going first, I think, is uh, typically a very good idea. Playing something a little bit different this week. Something you might class as off-meta. Right. Cool. Okay. We'll pretend, we'll pretend that, that... these are cards, so we'll go Cactuar from Moogle and pass, I guess. Okay. No, I'll never say no to that. We can lose Belias, who's not going to be useful for quite a while, and stick down a ninja, and I'll pass there. Okay, now this might be the place. So let's go Ramu from Rajan. Let's go Mugo and Rikia from Eloas. Oh, okay, wow. Talk about hitting the ground running. Cloud into damage, which does nothing. It hurts to admit, but I think we need to do Bahamut and one Teller. Mm. Okay. And we're going to go pseudo 2 CP back up. Ah, uh, this is horrible. Horrible. Why are all my summons at the top? Oh, Elias and two Bahamets already. Ouch. I think if it's a damage race you want, I might as well try and meet you there. I'll pass there. Not playing the team. I am not playing the team. My hand size is way too low to rely on playing this team. One, two. Believe it or not, this is not a model fire deck. Barbie for no value? Barbie for no value. Okay. Let's run with that one. Here you come. On you. Heck. Tifa. Okay. And three. Tandy. And Toto. Sure. I don't want to die. What can I say? Sure. And I'll pass there. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping that off of four backups now and you only being on two, I might rebuild a little bit faster and hopefully overcome a little bit of hand size disadvantage right from the start. Moogle special. Yeah. To make what I just said into a lie. <laughs> Cipher, okay, yeah, that's problematic. And then I'll go Cipher, I'll play Cipher with the Rajin and the Rajin is a man. Very honest of you, okay. There you go, swing. Sure, I'll take that and I'll buff you. I can do that, right? Yeah, yeah it's not choose one of your own forwards. <laughs> it's like, I can draw a card, right? <laughs> Please let me draw cards because I need to come back from this. This is horrible. <laughs> Oh, I would like to have backup to have names that are not Moogle 11 or Rajin, yeah, please. Can I have any of those? I would like to break your stupid aggro cards. Can you Can you please put that in the break zone? I can. And I'll pass there. Okay. If you Eloa this turn. I'm going to Eloa this turn. You are the worst person. Bring <laughs> the one for Eloa. It's okay, he tells himself. There can't be any Al Sid combos now. Are you sure? I'm sure this is a pacifist Eloa that won't attack. Sorry. Oh no, I was wrong. Okay. Go, buddy. I'd, I'd see the thing is I don't think I could have waited another turn on the Shantotto. Like no. I think being on four damage then, if you still had the Seeker in hand, or five damage if you played the Seeker the next turn. Yeah, I, I don't. No. I hold, I hold my thought to myself because there's I think there's a turn, an early play. Like, mm. Have you got the stream up, Carbon? Have you got the game there? Yeah. Look at the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go five for Zack, who does nothing of real significance. Okay. Uh, what? No, Zack can't feel all forward you control. So Zack is now a 10k. Zack is currently a 10k, but won't be for very long. Okay. I think I need to do this, and I'll pass there. Okay. That's that's interesting. It means that if you attack, partly Zack can replace himself like shark's teeth straight from the deck. 
but also if you attack it means you totally have an Illawa in hand. And I don't think you want to risk that because you are very behind on backups and if anything goes wrong I'll catch up. That's a bit different, okay. Hmm. So he's now... Seifer will trade into either of these. Yeah. The question yeah. is, are you ahead enough that you can afford to trade? Only you know the answer to that. Uh, combat? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Block on Zach. Okay. So Zach loses 2k because you declare block. Yep. Took the 4 damage resolves. Okay. Hello. Special. Uh, Zach loses an R2k. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. That's Zach on 4k will die. And, see for and is it possible for me to do anything here? Uh, when, when Zach hits the break zone, I can play a cloud onto the field dull or add it to hand. Okay. Hand. Hand. Wall is on 6k. Wall is on 6k. Swing. There is no way on air. I am not going to make that trade. <laughs> One card in hand. Okay, there's there's no way that this is going to go badly now. He said again. And again. <laughs> he said again and, and, and really hopes this time that he's right. 4 for Tifa. Sure. What's your hand looking like? Yeah. Three. Cloud to do 7,000 to Seifer, so long as I control another FF7. Sure. And then I'll go to combat and make you worry for a change. And I'll pass there. Okay. Yes. I, I want you to be worrying. I want you to be worrying. When I drew Mendu. Yeah. Because it's like. Well, it's nice when you make someone else worry for a change. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh. Cactuar comes out. Pass. I learned at the grand opening. London, the Cactuar's French name is Pampa. I really wanted to trade for a French one, but you know. It's a uh, Dijin. Dijin, Dijin, yeah, the uh, the French name for Zidane. Oh, that's quite cute. Personal highlight. James actually traded for one as well. I'll go to combat, sure. Attack on Cloud. And Tifa. Absolutely. Now we're almost level. How did that happen? Second main. I'll leave Tela open just in case there's something on your end step I absolutely have to kill. But Vincent looks playable here. Okay. And if Vincent is playable, do I want to make him immune to. No, no. I'll pass it. I'll pass it. I take it you've got a Yuffie in hand then. I quite obviously do have a Yuffie in hand. Yeah. And the question was if you have a Wind Onion Knight and a regular Onion Knight, you could kill Vincent. And I was thinking, but if I drop Yuffie, then that's no longer the case and, and he's now 9k. But of course, you've got Cactuar on the field, so yeah, any damage you do is really 1000 more. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Sure. Okay. Just I've just realised I've only got wind monsters in the deck. And this deck doesn't play Leak, doesn't it? Not. No, I think Leak is. Leak needs some really, really strong synergies to work. And I don't think that Diabolos on its own is quite a strong enough synergy. It is nice to cast summons during your opponent's turn and tap out during your own turn, but I don't think that's strong enough to say that any wind deck should be playing Layak. I think, certainly when so many of the forwards in this deck are not going to be blocking anyway. And it's only even if it's only the enemy. Yeah, and Remley. Choose one active forward. You don't have to activate the time Otherwise, that's the dead back. Uh, is it sensible yet to drop the UV? Yeah, I think so. I'll go to combat. Sure. And attack with the brave fist. Before declaring any other attackers, I'm going to tell a special on Kefka. Removing from game 16,000 damage. Okay. Attack on Cloud. Yep. And Tifa. Oh, wow. That's relevant. Okay. Sure. Drop seven by three. So I can kill you if you I'll pass turn there and I'll lose you. So you've got to pull something impressive out of the bag here. Right. 
Ramu to shoot Vincent? Yeah. Okay. And kill Vincent. You'll... HGG had two elves at hand. Ah, okay. Then let's go to game two. <laughs> How did that feel? Do you think you opened too fast? Uh, no, I just think that I just it wasn't that I opened too quickly. It was just that it, it never really stabilised. I never saw backups. Like it wasn't that it wasn't I threw away backups. I just didn't see any. It's one of the things that's happened. Yeah. Do you mind if I cut in and tell and say the fact that? Sure. Come in on mic. Come in on mic. Um, We've got Corbin here. Spectator. So my initial thought on your your Tifa play you had the stuff in hand to get your 4 drop Tifa the 4 drop Tifa, Tifa has haste but also could have stopped Alua's aggressive it was rush. never my intention to play that Tifa just to fetch it out the deck for CP because yeah. I wanted to be on 3 backups for the Chantotto that's fair I, I, I was I was one hundred percent playing with the mentality of wanting to fall behind, so I yeah. could shut up. That's fair. My my initial thought would have been you could have stopped your damage. Obviously, you had a longer game play, but with the Tifa, you could, either Tifa was a good choice. But if I'm, you wanted I'm to, kind, I'm kind of afraid of. I, I wouldn't want to play a Tifa that then attacks and gets into a damage race that I was already losing. But also, I'm afraid to leave up a blocker in case Al said makes me fall behind even more. That's true. And I, 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 kind, I kind of wanted to hit the new game button. Speaking of new game, are you going first or second? Oh, first, first, first is the assumption, but uh, I, I, this is a horrible hand, so no, I'll, I'll mulligan that right away. Okay. Uh, right, so I will go Onion Knight for Archer pass. Hmm. Onion Knight for Archer? Okay. Got to. Based on what's here. I much prefer the look of. Hmm. That's very good in this matchup. We can lose Vincent on Katie, and I'll pass it. The first ever card I got signed at the Cardiff Winter Cup last year, and to be honest, I can't wait to go back. Just bought tickets to go there, just bought flight tickets to go down to Cardiff as well. What's the date for it? It's December the 15th and 16th. Alright. A couple of months away yet, but... Alright. Oh, okay. I freaked out for a second there. Uh, yeah, let's let's just not let you do that. Let, let's just not have Shantotto. Like, not having Shantotto is a good play. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave my hand face up for as long as those cards are known by you. Then I will... I'll pass them. So while we're streaming and everything, what what do you think the new meta is going to be and stuff like that? Oh, uh, uh, an open seven prediction. Um, yeah, open seven. Okay, uh, I think that Legend Tedious and Sin look like the best of the bunch. Sin definitely. S Sin gives Shantoto access that's easier to play, not requiring a particular element, and can be played in any element. So uh, I think our board reset is going to force a few decks out of the meta. Probably monster heavy decks like Mono Water Monsters just can't beat that card. So no. yeah, that, that that looks strong. Uh, I think for the most part, the legends leave me a little bit underwhelmed. There's a lot of things that strike me as being like Minwoo from Open 6, yeah. in that they invite being built around without really offering any solutions, you know? And then we have Heroic Curie. And Heroic Curie is going to be game Heroic Curie is probably any the who best we release promo there's been so far, and yeah. Any mono deck that's not playing Yuri. I will be unless you are going down the cam chaos route. I'm questioning why you're not playing. Like, yeah, I think I think anything. Yuri's just got so much support that you'd be kind of dumb not to get as many copies as possible. I'll pass it. There's too many things that it can do that. Ah, right, yeah. Well. I was gonna say, why did you pay five and then realise it costs five? <laughs> oh, so it does. I was thinking it costs five. Uh, okay. It does leave me a bit over to Al's but at least it replaces itself. Let's go. And it keeps me with the special in hand. One. And the Gramis. On Sifa. Very unusual. Okay. Um, Barbie. Sure. On you. I will gladly spend three on Cloud. Sure. And we'll kill off Seaver. And then I'll go to combat and attack on Zach. 
Here it comes. Nice. Ah, no, pass there. Okay. <laughs> I did wonder about the grammys you threw away. I, I wondered if assembling Al said was going to be high on your agenda. M maybe Zach just spooked you off such a plan. One. Well, to with Zach, you've already solved the problem of Zach needs to be off. Something else comes in. It wouldn't be an ideal balance. Sure. Uh, Resolve Zach. BK on Zach. And discarding an onion knight. Yeah. Okay. It would. It wouldn't be an so ideal thing to hit Zach. Hitting Zach with that just means you get something else. <laughs> You don't I didn't lose know. any value, nor do you gain any value. Uh, swing was a Dane on seven. What's cut? Oh, we yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think the smart thing to do is two and a cloud and dull okay. to do 8,000 damage to Onion Knight and 4,000 to the rest of your field. Kills both. Okay. And I'm just going to pass there. Damage limitation, but also leaves me ineligible for Alcid. Yeah. Maybe now we can have a sensible game and both try and wrap some backups. Maybe. I don't know how much hope I hold. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. On you. Committed to the beatdown. Oh. Well, <laughs> can I hold it for two turns? Oh, that's the thing. Okay. <laughs> I'll spend two on Hecaton here sure. and do 7,006 in return. Yeah. Then I'll go to combat and attack for the same. Yep. I'll pass it. Okay. Last one here. Okay. And I can play Interesting. Wow. Seems like a double lightning and you can't afford either. Or maybe the situation just not right. I'll go to combat again. Yep. Swing for the third. Okay. Yep. It would you're commanded to the beatdown yep. now, yep. Steve. Yep. Four CP on Zagan. Let's get the weaker cards out of the deck so that I can leave good stuff in the deck so I draw into good stuff, you know? The cards that I wouldn't be happy to draw, get them out as early as you can. And I'll pass um, yeah. Yeah. Just need to try not drawing to like monolingual or something. Hello, okay. The thing that I really meant to escape is like. Proof of the second, and it's Momodi. So it gives a bit more time. So I've got. A backup that can search a forward. Let's do two on Tifa. Sure. I'll go to combat. Yep. And attack with Tifa, who has haste twice. And cloud. Yeah. Second main. Yep. One. Yeah. I would like to go Two, three. Right. On Jesse, who searches for an FF7. Sure. I'll take you. Okay. And pass there. Absolutely. I know the ultimate way to finish this out is use your. Is use the bits that you pull out of that. Two turns too slow. Um, oh, to be in the days of giving things peace. All that. I can imagine that in your head. I want to make you not want to attack. I want to make you think that the right thing to do here is put down a ton of blockers. Cactuar is interesting, yeah. Step in the right direction. Combat? Sure. Could be an amazing block of shield in hand, but no, I'll, I'll take that. I'm not in too much danger. Okay. Might be a bit too little, too late. Too late things, but <laughs> then again, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you have in hand. So I when I can't add, perfect. GG. Doesn't matter. 
I can't do anything. I can't add to five. It's fine. I think the safest thing to do. No, here no I legit can't add to five. Le legit skip. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. At that point, there's not a lot. You can I do. was forgetting. I was forgetting. Oh yeah, card comes out of my hand, therefore counts against me for two CP, not one. Yeah. I see. Can't yeah. cast the Diabolos. I think the thing I was going to do that turn was crack the ninja, get rid of the protection there, and then tap and pitch, probably remove her from game, no, and then sure. and then I've still got five in hand. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, seems fine. The curve in this feels alright, and that's something that I think that a lot of Final Fantasy VII decks struggle with, is that the backups are kind of crap. Like, there's a lot of very useful and utility cards in Fire and in Earth. You look at things like Black Waltz, and you look at things like Irvin that find a home very naturally in Fire Ice, they don't here because there's not enough ping damage. And it's quite tricky, actually, to build, I suppose, around the curve of what is a really even-costed bunch of cards, or odd-costed cards that you don't want to play as soon as you draw them, because they're dependent on other outside factors. So yeah, uh, I, th I think this has felt like a decent attempt so far, and I'm quite pleased that it will get outsided once. I still stand by the fact that Vincent is my favourite card in the game, and he's still maybe the best card in the game. The best? Um, to an extent now. I wouldn't say it's the best so card many, called Vincent in this deck. There are so many 